All right, lads, welcome back to me podcast, Cheaper Than Therapy. How are you? Mick Thomas here. How you doing? Listen, thanks for liking, subscribing, sharing, coming on back and checking out the podcast from whatever platform you're getting it from. YouTube, it's there if you want to watch, if you want to see my silly, silly outfits. Uh, thank you for watching. Also, I have another podcast with me, good buddy, Corey Brooks, called The Manxiety Show, also available wherever you get your podcast. That's a good, we don't have a new one out yet this week. We put a new one out last week, uh, which is funny, but we do, uh, I'm hoping to maybe get one recorded this week based on my, it's my schedule this time. It ain't Corey's fault. And also, uh, I have a new segment coming out every week. On, I'm going to be dropping it online every Wednesday. It's on the road with Mick Thomas. It's in a little video, just under 10 minute mark, kind of highlighting where I'm going, who I'm talking to. You get to see green rooms, uh, the comics on the show, and maybe a little bit of stand up on there too. So I kind of put it together in a little video. I've already got one done, one in the bag. It'll be out Wednesday. But anyway, I, uh, I want to start off the episode by saying so, so sorry. To the person who called up a comedy club to try to get me fired from the weekend. I don't want to mention the club. I don't want to mention the club. But I, 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 because I go online, I'm on Facebook a lot, right? And again, follow me there, McThomas Comedy. And I do like to go after, like, here's the thing. I, I Am I a bit of a troll on there? I would say so. I would say so. I'm a bit of a troll. Um, you know, but what I put up there is, is like, it's kind of factual and it's kind of an opinion. And it, it's like, I'm not, I never go after anybody and insult anybody, you know, like, like, I, like, I don't know if there's a Biden post and people like have a, how great Joe Biden is. And we all know my stance on Joe Biden. I think he's probably one of the worst presidents in history. That doesn't mean I think Trump is one of the best presidents in history because the argument seems to be, well, what about Trump? What about him? I ain't a fan of politicians. So stop. That's not going to hurt my feelings. Or, oh, you think you're funny? This your level of comedy? Yawn. It's been done. Uh, so as a page, I mainly go after a lot of it is riding with Biden is the name of the page. And it's all these pro Biden people who cannot see anything wrong with what the guy does. And, uh, so on that page, they'll also hate like people like DeSantis and that kind of stuff. So, uh, it's a, it's a good time. It's a good time. Very easy, easy. It's like, like when I make fun of on the right, if I see something that the right posts, I'll just put in a comment on it and they'll go, yeah, fuck you, dude. Whatever. Like, and that's it. They're not upset. They're just like, yeah, fuck you, dude. That's it. Or they'll just ignore it. The left is just, they go crazy. And I love it. It's so, e it's just easy. It's, it's just like some sort of like a food to me. It's like, a, it's almost like, like Red Bull to me, right? It gives me wings. It gives me wings. So I will, uh, so I was on there and I, I got a, I got a call from a comedy club and I'll go into what I guess the comment was that did it. I kind of know, I have an idea. Um, because it was the one that got the most comments, right? Like I put, someone was, someone was complaining about Ohio. That's, you did a great job, Ohio. And again, this one was, I was kidding around. One post was like, oh, great job, Ohio. You just voted in abortion, whatever. And again, we know my stance on, on, uh, on abortion. I've done it on other episodes. Um, but I do like to be a bit of a, you know, pot shit star, as me and Ma would say. And there was one, uh, comment about good job, Ohio. Now, if you could just do something about taking your guns down, because they, Ohio passed abortion in there. And I said, no, no, m more guns, if anything. Because in Ohio, you can now kill a baby up till 24 weeks. I don't know if you knew that. Uh, it's a bit much, isn't it? 24 weeks. I know, like, and again, pro-life and all that stuff and pro-choice, I should say. All that thing's there, right? But uh, 24 weeks, like, Google a picture of a 24 weeks it ain't, it ain't it ain't far off a baby that you've seen in. I remember I'm not being a dick when I say this. I'm not being a dick. I'm being serious. Like I would watch. Remember Bob Geldof did Live Aid. Some of you are too young to remember that, and they would show videos of African babies that they look like 24 year old uh, babies. But whatever, whatever. Who am I? Again, I'm not judging anybody. And uh, so I put a comment up something like, "You might as well just might as well have guns since we're doing that, right?" And it's like, you know, you know when someone's putting too much salt on a steak, you're like. Ooh, that's a bit much. That's a, it's the kind of same face you have when you find out you can kill a baby up to twenty four weeks. Uh, and it's like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know where you stand on that one. But that's a that's a tough one. 
that's a tough one to swallow. I'm being honest with you. 24 weeks. It's got legs, arms. Like it's. It's. I know people. I know someone who like had uh, a daughter at 23 weeks, and she's fine now. But it's like, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't. I'm not getting into that debate. I know it's a sore subject with some people, so I'm not getting into that debate. So I kind of kidding around with him as well. Like, hey, just. You might as well just keep, since we're killing guns, both are, like, murder. Again, beat a dick, beat a dick. And I got attacked on that one, but that wasn't the comment. That wasn't the comment that got someone upset. But anyway, I don't know why I digress into that one. So the com- so someone saw this comment and it went back and forth with me on, on something on about DeSantis, and I'll get into it in a second. And uh, they called up a comedy club and they went, I see Mick Thomas is here on the blah, 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 blah. You know, you guys should be ashamed of yourselves of having him. You have you have you seen his views on DeSantis? You guys should basically fire him. Uh, and the manager went, "Wait, do you think we're gonna fire a comedian because somebody without a sense of humor called up and said we should fire him? You, the guy has sold out already. His his three shows he's doing here. Should we fire him because you, you unfunny fuck with no sense of humor should just turn up at the club? Like comedy doesn't have an HR department, people. I'm just letting you know that. We're kind of, we're out there. It's the Wild West out there. We don't, we don't, we have 1099s and that's the only thing we have that makes us legit company. We have no HR department. We don't have anybody policing us. It's the fucking Wild West. We're either funny or we're not. And that's it. And the funny ones sell tickets. So for the people out there who are complaining, I'm selling tickets, lads. The ticket sales are going well. So I do apologize to the person who I didn't get fired. But you should write to the Mick Thomas HR department. I do take all, uh, we do take complaints very seriously over there. Just dial, you know, HR department, hit number, hit two. We'll go straight to Michael Thomas's file. That's my legal name. And, uh, you know, we'll we'll deal with everything there. We, we will make sure we will address your query and concerns at the at the Mick Thomas uh, comedy show over here. Whatever the fuck you want to go. Yeah, can you imagine calling up? I just, I don't like, like, can you imagine, like, like, who's a singer that made a political statement? I'm trying to think, like, think of a singer, like a famous singer. Like, you two, they're fucking always on. Bono's always at it. Bono cannot shut the fuck up about the planet and oh fuck it up, right and i love you too but can you imagine if you're just like if you're if you let's say you're a, cli- a climate change denier i'm not saying i am but saying, let's say you are and bonnell's out there you know we have to take care of the ozone layer and ice caps are melting and polar bears are fucking turning shit brown and you know like <laughs> and you i don't agree with cli- <laughs> hello you get on the phone Hello, ring, ring. Yep, is this Madison Square Garden? Yes, it is. Hey, listen, I know you have U2 coming through there on August 5th. Uh, it sold out record time, did it? Okay. Uh, oh, you've added a second show because of popular demand. Yeah, but anyway, listen. Uh, I think you should fire Bono and U2 and not have that show go ahead. Well, why is that? Well, he doesn't think climate change is a thing. He doesn't think, I don't think climate change is a thing and he's saying it is and you should cancel the show. And 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 that's the mentality of people. That's the, and I always tell you, your protest is just, you don't go. You don't go to the show. You don't get to speak for other fucking psychopaths who have the same mindset as me who come and enjoy the show. You don't get to just speak on their behalf. You don't get to, to call up wait staff. You don't get to like deprive them of, of three sold out shows, busy running back and forth, right? Getting tips so they can go home and feed their fucking families. You don't get to tell the chefs in the kitchen they can't cook food. You don't get to tell my opener he doesn't have a gig that weekend. You fucking moron because you don't like a conversation about DeSantis, which I believe I fucking think it's awesome. Here was the happened, right? I don't know if you're aware of this. DeSantis came out. And DeSantis, I don't know, man. I'm not saying I'm a fan of DeSantis, but I fucking like... I feel like he was a, like should have been a sheriff in the West. You ever play like a, like a game um, like like Red Dead Redemption 2? Like he, he belongs in that. He belongs in that fucking Wild West mayor. And it's just like he's been transported to 2023. So, uh... But what he said was, like, he is now taking away all the visas and he's deporting. Because if you come over on a student visa, if you come over from another country on a student visa, that's the only thing that keeps you in that country legally. That's the only thing 
that you got oh, that is you know if because you know we're all Nazis now because we disagree with things like I didn't like the new Captain Marvel movie so I got called a Nazi for it um, and rightly so I'm right I should be called a Nazi I really should be if I to open up this shirt and you should see the tattoos I have on my chest you would your head would spin so I I would be a Nazi I, I would be considered a Nazi and because uh, I didn't like the Marvels movie because it was an all women cast directed by a woman uh, and for some reason just because it's shit I have to be a sexist and a Nazi. Um, so when the Nazis stop you in your in town and they go, let me see your papers, please. Right? Well, you have to show your student visa. Without that, you're not legal. You, you, you're a legal immigrant in the country. So DeSantis was saying, for those immigrants coming over those on student visas and on, on special work visas, if they're finding that you are now supporting Hamas, not free Palestine, that's a different protest. Not free Palestine. I'm not talking about those because I, I know it's a complicated issue. It's a complicated, uh, heated debate and the passions are wild on both sides. And I've made my stance on a few episodes uh, ago. I'm not going to go into it now, but I am pro-life. The li Not as in, hey, we're talking about abortion again. I am pro, like the loss of innocent life needs to stop on either side of it. That's my stance on it. But um, the politics of it, I don't get involved. Uh, so, But if you're over there supporting Hamas... Then the Santos is like the Santos is like, give me your fucking visa. You know what? Get on a plane. Get the fuck out of this country. Go back to where you're from and fly your fucking Hamas flag over there. And I love that. I I fucking love that. I'm a big big fan of that because I came to America 20 years ago uh, through a weird rigorous system of paperwork and documentation and background checks and. And I came in and I did nothing but respect for America. I have nothing, and I've always had it. I'm also, I'm sometimes I consider myself more patriotic as an American than some Americans that I fucking know. I love America. I love being in this country. I love everything. Not long. I will shit on Long Island to the day I die. I fucking can't stand Long Island. I cannot stand Long Island. It's ah. Oh. unreal, unreal. I, and I've I've talked about that on nausea, but but. Long Island isn't America. Long Island isn't America. But it's in America, I get it. But I love America. I would never come over here and support a terrorist organization that kind of wants to take it down. Do you know what I mean? I would never fuck. I never do that in a million years. Never do that in a million years. I'm going to pack up my shit. Now, having said that, I didn't come from bad situations, by the way, in Ireland. Ireland ain't a third world country. I was fucking on the hog in Ireland, man. I was high on the hog. I was living it. Living it up in Ireland, I was having a great time. My life just took me on a path where I ended up in America. So it's not like I came over f on a floating door, just fucking rolling over here. And I put up in the lands and like someone put a blanket around me. You made it. You made it. Welcome to America. Your life starts today. It's not that. I just, I, it, America's been good to me. America's been good to me. And I want to be good to her. That's all I'm saying. So if you come over here from another country and like there's a lot of shit going on in the city now. I've seen it. The Palestine protests. They're they're ripping down the American ripping down the American flag. Where's the outrage? Where's the outrage? Oh, freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. All for that. All for freedom of speech. But vandalism? Vandalism? Isn't that against the law? Where are the cops? Where are the cops in New York City? Nowhere to be found. And I am pro-cop, by the way. I am pro-cop. Nowhere to be found because they're told to stand down. It's not a reflection on the cops. It's a reflection on the higher-ups. They're told to stand down. Vandalism, crime. It's all good. Not in Florida. DeSantis is like, get the fuck, pack your shit up, and get out. And I love that. I'm a fan of that. And you know what? There's a lot of countries in Europe now that are kind of standing up. They're deporting. There's a woman, uh, Ashley Murphy, I believe her name was, a young girl, a young woman in Ireland, uh, recently got murdered. I think it was last week or the week before. I'm not sure the dates. Forgive me if that's disrespectful that I don't get the dates right. Got murdered by uh, an illegal immigrant that they, an undocumented one, they led into the country of Ireland, which is overrun by uh, migration now. It's overrun by illegal immigrants. The government let them in. I guess that doesn't make them legal anymore, right? It just means our government has fucked up. The Irish government fucked up and let them in legally, I suppose. So let me take back that statement about being illegal immigrants. These migrants come into the country, no background check. This guy murdered her. They finally do a background check after the poor young lady is dead. Ashley Murphy is dead. And what do they find? He's been molesting people in uh, other other countries, in your other countries in Europe. 
You do the background check too fucking late. So these con- uh, now they're starting the deportation is starting. Not Ireland. We're still fucking behind. Get your shit together, Ireland. Get your shit together. You're better than this, right? But I used to watch it in England. I used to watch it in England and wonder because I used to, I used to. I used to grow up kind of like hating England because I was told to, right? You were told to hate England because what they did to Ireland. And I had English friends and I and I, and, 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 and I had English friends and I never, it's weird, like you never associated your English friends with being English. You just, you just said English people are bad, just not my friends. You know what I mean? Like, and that was your mentality when you're a young person. English people are terrible, but not my English friends. Everyone else is terrible, but these guys are good. Oh, I made two new English friends. Okay, so these two are fine. Still, the rest of them are terrible. Five more English friends. I meet comedians now who are English. Really good guys. I travel with them. They're fine, but the rest... Of, do you know what I'm trying to say? So, you end up growing up with that. But I grew up in, I grew up hating England. So, I would see these people at football games. I would go see Arsenal play and all that kind of stuff. And it was all... Like, you don't know it, man. But, like, they, they were, like, these cliche, like, football hooligans. Right? Shaved heads. Not Nazis, but shaved heads, right? Never lifted a weight in their lives. 12 beers a day, like pints a day of lager. And I was always like, oh, my, I'll fucking smash you fucking face, you know. Will you fucking look at me, you fucking cunt. Right? And I thought, Jordan, like when all these these migrants come in, and, and, and again, this is not a migration conversation. This is a migration co- of fucking animals who come in and just wreak havoc on a country. On, on crime and, and rape, like legit rape and, and disrespect and... And I wondered, like, where where are those bulldogs? Where do they go to? What happened to them? You know? And now I'm starting to see online that they're coming out. They're starting to march. Piccadilly Circus. Piccadilly Circus. And they fucking fuck you. We fucking have you, mate. Right? And they're, and, and they're taking their country back. They're taking their country back. And I was... I'm sitting... Fucking good for you, England. And I never thought I'd say that. But fucking bravo, England. Bravo, take your country back from these fucking animals. Take it back. And this is not about people who don't come. Listen, again, I'm for, I'm pro-immigration. I would be, it would be the most ironic, hypocritical bullshit if I sat here saying I'm against immigration. I how went through fucking swings, hoops and roundabouts to become a legal citizen of America. I feel everybody should become a legal city, citizen of where they're going for. All the background checks, you put the work in. It might take four months, and sorry, you have to wait four months. Mine took over a year, by the way. And that's when there was no sh- when the shit hadn't hit the fan. The country wasn't a mess. You should fucking wait. But good for you, England. I love to see it now. And there's other ones. Finland, Iceland, Norway. Not Iceland. Iceland didn't take any. Norway. Denmark. They're fucking packing them up. Get the fuck out. Get out. You come to our beautiful fuck. Like, Italy is gone. France is gone. Spain is in the shitter. Germany is struggling. Ireland is fucked. Now we have murders in Ireland. You know, and I just like, I'm looking at DeSantis. Good for you, man. And I know people hate him and they're going to hate me for saying it, but that's what the comment was. The comment was something like, good for you, DeSantis. I don't, again, like, and I know he does a lot of stuff that's not, not cool. Right, that's not like, ugh, all right, man, you're leaning into that a little bit too hard. I get it, though. I get it. You got to protect your state and all that stuff. And, you know, but I, I, I don't hate him. I don't hate him like I'm supposed to. I don't. I got, I don't know. I just agree with that. I sh- agree strongly with that as a patriotic American because I am an American. I am an American and I'm a human being. And I think if you're supporting, like, can you imagine after 9 11, you came along? You know, and, and the towers just went down and, and then all of a sudden you're walking around going, yeah, man, Taliban are all right. Good for the Taliban. And then you ask him a question. Do you think what the Taliban did was wrong? No, I think it was justified because you see students do this. I've seen students corner Jewish people, shaming them. And it's online. Don't take my word for it. Google it yourself. Just just learn yourself. You know, and and can you imagine that though, like September 11th, and, we're, and someone's like, ah, you know what? I think we'll do deny, and that's another thing too. You ask them, they go, they go, well, would you do you uh, denounce what Hamas did? And then some of them will say no. And it's a weird thing, like they'll go on television too, and they'll talk about that too. You know, pro-Palestine people, and again, this is not me. Please don't take this as in I'm saying that Palestine ain't having a hard time right now. I'm not saying that at all. That the loss of life they're they're feeling is not is not tragic. In any way, I'm not saying that. 
But whenever they get someone pro Palestine on television, the first question they ask is, "Well, are you against Hamas?" And they under def- they, they don't just go, "Yeah, of course we are. Of course we don't want to see that they walked into civilians' houses and butchered and maimed and 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 raped and and decapitated babies." And and there's a story on there, man. I don't want to talk about it, but fucking it involves them going into a family's house not so long ago. A mother. That's all I'll tell you. Put this eight, eight Hamas men. Paint a picture yourself. It involved the fucking... It involved the husband getting killed. Whatever they did, eight men did to the wife. And what they did to a toddler and an oven. I'll leave, it's fucking gross. Because I know if I talk about it, I'll break character of this guy that I am on this podcast. And I'll lose my shit and I'll yell and fucking tear up and shit. I'm not going to do it. Because it's a horrific story. So when you ask these cunts and you sit in front of them on these television shows. And you go, okay, do you denounce Hamas? Because that's the confusion. Why does everybody lead with do you denounce Hamas? That's their argument. And the hands go up. And these are lawyers and doctors and educated people and professors. Why is that the first question we always get because it fucking is because it fucking determines what kind of person you are that i'm going to sit across from for the rest of this interview why would i talk to you because what you say i will talk to you by the way i'll give you the respect that i listen to you but what you're about to say is not justified if you don't fucking condemn what happened to those innocent people. Doesn't matter how many people owned the land before you. Doesn't matter how many people invaded your land. Who took your land. And I get it. You're talking to someone whose country was occupied for fucking 400 years. Never justification to do what happened. So answer the fucking question. It's a yes or a no. It's not a complicated, do you condone what Hamas did? Yes or no. There's no fucking lib- fucking liberal gibberish running around, dancing around it. It's a fucking yes or it's a no. I got heated there. I, I swear I wasn't going to get heated. Anyway, so to that person who called up the comedy club, don't do that, guys. You're wasting your time. Comedy clubs will not fire comedians. They won't. If you're in the building and, and, and something happens, and I've seen this happen before, this is your best approach. Go to the show. Interrupt the show. And see how the comedian interacts. Now, if the comedian jumps off the stage and pummels you, uh, then you might the comedian might get fired. But until then, don't don't just don't waste your time. Com- most comedy clubs, if not all, especially the good ones that I perform at, they have the comedians' backs. They have their comedians' backs a hundred percent. Okay, so I'm so sorry I didn't get fired. I'm so sorry. You know what? Three sold out shows. I, I hate to tell you this, but I they called me yesterday. They, they might want to add a fourth show. I might not do it, just out of respect for you and your feelings, but just to let you know, ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't get fired because I, I agreed with DeSantis on a one point. Uh, so if I come to your town, I'm not sure what town it is because when I look on your thing, everything is private as to fuck. Um, but I know who you are because you, you commented pretty harsh on it, uh, on my thing. Um, again, if you go follow me on Facebook, it seems to be where it's at now. It seems to be where all the drama is. And, and watch me go back and forth with Biden with Biden's page. Um, but yeah, if I come to your town, shithead, uh, I would love to see you come down. Tickets are on me. Just message me ahead of time. I'll make sure you get front row seats. I promise you, front row seats right up front. And you'll get to see the unfunny bigot Nazi guy that you so, so elegantly have... Um, title to me so i uh coming up next week i'm at 24th i'm at the madison theater on long island uh in in rockfield center and then on december 6th and 7th i'm at uncle Vinny's in new jersey new jersey and the jersey shore and we're into the holiday season then boys that's my favorite time of the year and then on december 8th i'm up in utica Utica, it's going to be fucking freezing, but I can't wait to see you. Anyway, thanks for listening, liking, subscribing, and sharing. I appreciate you all coming back. Uh, And as always, wash your hands, you dirty fuckers. Good luck to you. Good luck to you.